Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue our discussion of polar, uh, polar coordinates, and, and we're going to continue and talk about the topic of polar equations. So just as you've always learned in coordinates, you have your Cartesian coordinates, x and y, and you can define a function, f of x, y is equal to f of x. You take the x value, put it into a function, you get a y value, and that's called a, a regular function. Well, now we're going to talk about functions in polar coordinates, and we're going to draw some pictures. So this is going to be mainly a, just an introductory section to show you what these pictures look like and how to, how to convert uh, formats from from polar version back to rectangular and so on and so forth when you're talking about functions that have polar coordinates involved. So just as I said a minute ago, recall, so I'll just write it down here, recall, uh, this is basic stuff, what I'm going to say here, that you have y is equal to f of x, which is just some function when you have a rectangular coordinates, okay? And that function is a function of x, and that function, you know, can, can do whatever. It just looks like this, and you take a value of x in, you put it into the function, you get a value of y back, and you plot it. That's, that's what a function is, okay? So, in polar coordinates, okay, in polar coordinates, we write functions like this. We write functions as following. Instead of uh, f of x, okay, y is equal to f of x, we say that r is equal to uh, some function of theta. Okay, so you see the, the, uh, the analogy is direct here. Instead of y, the other coordinate being a function of x, we say that r, which is one of the coordinates in the polar representation, is a function of the other coordinate, theta. Okay, so basically you have the, the remember what r is, it is the distance from the origin, and the angle is just the angle, uh, you know, measured from the x-axis. So the distance from the origin is a function of the angle as you go around the xy plane here. So you're going to trace out some sort of pattern as you as you trace your angles out. R is going to change and you're going to get some cute little figures. A lot of times they have circular uh, symmetry, but not, not always. Okay, so let's look at an example. What would a, a real polar equation look like? Okay, let's look at the polar equation of a circle because that's one that you're going you're gonna, to uh, see over and over again because one of the nice things about using polar coordinates to begin with is that they're nice when you uh, apply them to circular problems, things that involve a circle. Okay? Uh, the polar equation for a circle is, drum roll please, r is equal to, for instance, 2. This is an example. r is equal to 2. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the equation of a circle. It's extremely simple. You see, uh, what's going on here, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this and just see if we understand what's going on here, okay? Now, notice I said that uh, 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 in general, r is a function of theta. I did say that. So in general, what I'm saying is that r, as you start here and as you trace out theta, as you go all the way around the xy plane like this, okay, uh, r is going to change. It's going to be a function of theta. As you sweep theta, r might be this big, and as you increase theta, r might get bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller, and you trace out a function, right? Well, this very, very simple function means, see, there's no, there's no theta over here at all. It's not even here. That means that, yes, in general, r is a function of theta, but for this particular function, r is a constant. r doesn't, uh, doesn't, even, uh, doesn't even change. No matter what value of theta you pick, because there's no theta in the equation, r never changes. So what you basically have here is, and that's why it is a circle, because if you start here, uh, uh, over here at uh, uh, theta is equal to zero, 